This lecture is about evaluating deductive arguments for validity and inductive arguments for strength. We will also look at the concepts of truth, soundness, and cogency. In deductive arguments, there are two possibilities. A structure may be valid or invalid. When a structure is valid, there are true premises and the false conclusion is an impossibility. Conclusions follow with strict necessity. However, when the structure is faulty or invalid, true premises and false conclusion is possible. The conclusion, thus, does not follow with strict necessity. This table shows that the truth value of statements has absolutely nothing to do with whether the structure of an argument is valid or invalid. You can see that with all the various possible combinations of truth value that we can get both valid and invalid structures. The only exception is a valid argument will never give you true premises and a false conclusion. Take a look at the first row. This combination of truth value is true premises and true conclusion. In a valid structure, you can see an example where all the statements are true. Likewise, I found an example where the structure is invalid, but it also shows true premises and a true conclusion. Now, how do I know that this structure is invalid? I only need to find a single substitution instance where I find true premises and a false conclusion. Let me show you a counterexample. The very first premise, all T are, are, are P, I can substitute T for cats and P for animals. In the second premises, all O are P, I can substitute O for dogs. Now the conclusion reads, all dogs are cats. Clearly that is false. And that is a substitution instance in an invalid structure that proves invalidity. This is called the counterexample method. Look in the third row and the fourth row. These are other combinations of truth values for statements. We, are, we have false premises in the third row and a true conclusion, and where we have false premises in the fourth row and a false conclusion. But notice, I can find examples of arguments that are either valid or invalid, with that combination of truth value. That shows that it is useless to use truth value as the means to determine validity or invalidity. You must look at the relationship of the terms within the premises to determine whether the structure is valid or not. There is two means to determine validity and these are studied in later chapters. The first means is a visual means called Venn diagrams where the two premises are diagrammed. The conclusion is then checked to see if it is contained visually in the premises. The second method is a method of rules, a quality control if you will. There is a set of rules that each valid argument must pass. If one single rule is broken, then the structure is invalid. This, likewise, can be studied in later chapters. For now, it is important to know that the truth value of statements cannot tell you whether or not an argument is valid or invalid. Let's now look at inductive argument types. There's two kinds. One, where the Inference between premises and 
conclusion is strong. And here we have a case where the conclusion is false, is an improbability when the premises are true. The conclusion follows with good probability when the argument is inductive, strong. When there is a weak link between the premises and the conclusion, a weak inference, it is probable that the conclusion is false. That is, the conclusion does not follow with good probability. This table shows the various combinations that statements can have for truth value. In the first row, we have examples of both strong and weak arguments when the premises are true and the conclusion is true. The only time that we have a strong inductive argument is when the inference between premise and conclusion is strong. Notice the example all Category 4 hurricanes cause damage during landfall. The prediction, the next Category 4 hurricane will likely cause damage during landfall, is a strong prediction. This is both strong and cogent because all premises, all statements, including conclusion, are true. But we cannot determine the strength or weakness based on the truth of the statements. Here's an example of a weak argument where the statements are all true. All Category 4 hurricanes produced heavy rainfall. Note the weak link between the premises and the conclusion. The next Category 4 hurricane will produce winds in excess of 130 miles per hour. This conclusion has a weak inferential relation to the stated premise of rainfall. In the second row, true premises and a false conclusion is very improbable in a strong inferential argument, but is probable in a weak inferential argument. The last two rows where we have false premises and a true conclusion and false premises and a false conclusion give examples of both strong and weak arguments and this shows that you cannot determine strength and weakness of an inductive argument based on the truth value of the statements. You must look at the inference between the premises and the conclusion and determine if it is strong or not. In conclusion then, statements can be true or false. Groups of statements can be arguments or non-arguments. Arguments can be deductive or inductive. Deductive arguments can be valid or invalid. All invalid deductive arguments are also unsound. The only sound argument is when the deduction is valid, meaning the structure is good and the premises are both true and the conclusion also true. In inductive arguments, again, two choices. It can be either a strong inference between premises and conclusion or a weak inference. All weak inductive arguments are uncogent. A strong inductive argument will be cogent because the premises are true and the conclusion is likely going to be true as well. This concludes the lecture on evaluating deductive and inductive arguments.